こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Hey, Sarah. I've recently been reading up about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and I find the Great Pyramid of Giza particularly fascinating. Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, 
also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it? Oh, that's quite an interesting topic, indeed. The Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops, is truly an architectural marvel. It's the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's fascinating to think how it was built around 2580 to 2560 BC, isn't it?
Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Absolutely. The thing that intrigues me the most is how the ancient Egyptians managed to build such a massive structure without the modern tools and technology that we have today. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. 
That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yeah, that's a mystery that scholars and archaeologists have been trying to solve for centuries. The precision and meticulous planning involved in the construction are astounding. For instance, the pyramid is aligned with true north with an accuracy of 3 60th of a degree. That's incredible precision for the ancient world. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons.
Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Yes, and not just that, the construction material itself is a subject of wonder. I read somewhere that the pyramid was built using around 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing about 2.5 tons. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks.
Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. Exactly. And that's just the average weight. Some of the blocks, particularly the ones used in the king's chamber, are believed to weigh as much as 80 tons. Just imagine the sheer effort and coordination it would have taken to move and position these blocks. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away.
and the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. And the transportation of these stones from quarries far away, especially those huge granite blocks from Aswan, which is more than 800 kilometers away. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling.
Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Yes, and all this while the wheel had not even been invented yet. Scholars suggest they might have used sludges and ropes, with workers dragging the stones over wet sand to reduce friction. But the logistics of such an operation are mind-boggling. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years.
Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. Do we have any idea about how long it took to build the Great Pyramid? It's believed to have taken about 20 years, based on the work of ancient Greek historian Herodotus. But it's hard to imagine such a monumental task being completed in just 20 years. True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds?
true. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds? True. There's so much about the Great Pyramid that we still don't know, and may never know. That's what makes it so fascinating. Each new discovery provides a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is yet to be revealed. Who knows what secrets the Great Pyramid of Giza still holds?の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。